This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. The views expressed by guests on this program do not necessarily represent the views of the host or owners of the Doggy Diva Show and do not necessarily constitute endorsement of products. Medical information discussed by guests on this program are those of the guests and is only for informational purposes and should not replace medical advice by your local veterinarian professional. Hi, this is Susan Marie. This week on the Doggy Diva Show, looking for ways to celebrate National Mutt Day on December 2nd? And one community celebrates its holiday with a big holiday adoption event. Then, pet holiday gift ideas from Miss Olive's favorite things. That's what's on our show today. Let's go. Hey, did you hear that? What is that? It's the bark heard round the world. The Doggy Diva Show. Here's Susan Marie. Hi, welcome to the Doggy Diva Show, the show for animal lovers. I'm your host, Susan Marie, and as always, I'm joined by my canine co-hosts, the Doggy Divas themselves, Francesca, Coco, and our newest little diva, Miss Olive. Miss Olive is the cute little Italian greyhound rescue in the picture with the microphone. Thank you for joining us today as we bring the experts in the pet and animal world right to you. So go grab a cup of coffee and your pet's favorite treat, and we'll be back in just a moment. It's designerpetsweaters.com. Hand-knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom-knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports-themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four-legged fashions today. Your pets will stay warm for the winter and be runway ready. Large or small, we fit them all. Designerpetsweaters.com Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com Today is a very special day. Today is National Mutt Day. It's such, I love that day. Having mutts in my house, but they're very beloved and very special. So Monica, can you tell us a little bit about National Mutt Day? Yes, I was so excited that I fell on a on a radio show day, so that way we could celebrate with all of the mutts out there. Um, National Mutt Day is really important. There are so many shelter and rescue dogs out there that really, you know, need good homes that are really wonderful, wonderful dogs. And so that was kind of how National Mutt Day, you know, came to be. Um, there's a lot of breeds that people like. And when you have a mutt, sometimes, you know, they're not the first adopted over a purebred pet. So it's really great that they have a day nationally to kind of bring awareness to the mutts and the not purebred dogs out there because there are some fabulous, fabulous dogs and they, you know, they deserve a really, really great home. Um, one thing that is really great about mutts in general is the gene pool. When you have extra kind of breeds and things like that in there, when you have a higher gene pool, meaning, you know, more variety and more DNA sequences going into that dog, you actually have the opportunity to have less congenital and less inherent side effects. So some of these breeds, you know, and each breeds kind of come with their own issues. You know, we have our cocker spaniels that are always known for ear infections. And we have our boxers that are always prone to tumors. And, you know, our greyhounds that are always prone to the bad teeth. And, you know, every kind of breed has their own sets of problems that are more likely to occur in that breed just because the makeup or the general, you know, bone structure and health of that breed. When you have a mutt and you have a mixture of those breeds, those congenital and those inherent traits come down. So generally, overall, you have a healthier pet. Not only do you have a healthier pet, but you have a pet that lives a nice long life. 
I have a mutt, I'll call her a mutt. She's a mixed breed dog. So I find that all of this is true. And, you know, she seems to be healthy. She's very little maintenance. Is that what you find with the mutts? It is. Just because, like you said, you know, the, the DNA pool is wider. So you have less of those inherent traits. So overall, you have less of a chance to get those, you know, things that are more prevalent. Well, I think that everyone out there, you should go out and adopt every day. But today's National Mutt Day, December 2nd. So happy National Mutt Day and go find your forever friend. Thank you so much. Hi, Doggy Diva Show listeners. Susan Marie here to take just a half a minute to let you know how much we appreciate your being with us every week to hear great dog tips you can use with your pet, some great stories about rescues, fostering, and some heartwarming stories about second chances for pets who are now in loving forever homes. Be sure to go to our website, thedoggydiva.com, to see pictures of Miss Olive and other dogs we talk about on the show and get to know us a little better. That's thedoggydiva.com, D-O-G-G-Y. We appreciate your feedback, too. Okay, let's get back to the show. Coming up... If you're looking for that special holiday pet gift, we have the answers for you. Stay with us. He was malnourished and emaciated. Constant scratching and just being unpleasant. He was shedding excessively. He was losing his fur. Franklin was rescued from the streets of Los Angeles. Bear was a rescue from the same shelter in Kansas City, Missouri, that I got J.J. the Terrier. I found his raw meat diet, which is raw meat, eggs, rice, and Dinovite and Lico Chops. His omega-3 supplement on Dinovite.com. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. I've got my ground beef, the Dynavite, and I just mix it all together with the eggs and the shells. Franklin, he's thriving. His coat is soft and shiny. He's shedding much less. They're much happier. Their coats are better. Their behavior, especially their behavior, is better. How do you feed your shelter dog to derive a great attitude? Start that little pet off right. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. Just go to Dynavite.com. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio dot com. Welcome back, everyone. We have with us today Candace Botha, the founder and publisher of Suncoast Pet Magazine, author of many books, and the founder of Me and My Dog USA.com. Hey, Candace, welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Wow. I got to tell you that I totally love the Suncoast Pet, the holiday gift, the 11th annual holiday gift. I can't gift believe it oh myself. My gosh. <laughs> it's so cute and Am I allowed to say your name? No. No, we have a, you have to enter the contest to see who's on the front. No, we have, and we can't even say what gender this dog is. But we're running a contest for the November-December issue that you have to answer seven questions about the cutie patootie featured on the cover. So cute. And, yeah, such a happy, happy little yeah. pup. And the contest is, um, if you're local here, You can actually, there was an article earlier this year about this dog and her folks, and you can find information if you go to sarasotasuncoastpet.com and look at some of the past issues, um, and then you can get all the answers to the questions, and if we're going to have a drawing to see who wins a $75 gift basket from, just in time for the holidays, from Wet Noses in Sarasota. So Awesome. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Very happy with this. Um, so why don't we talk about the Ho Ho Holiday Gift Guide? Oh my gosh, you really outdid yourself this year. Well, I always try to, one of the things that I like to do is feature, obviously, our our local pet retailers and some of the things that they're selling for the holidays to make it easy, because I know when you go out to buy gifts for people, it's always hard to find things. So we kind of chose some of the most interesting things that are out there in the market today from a lot of our local retailers here. So um, it was it's always a fun 
project to put together because we have so many talented people and so many, all of our pet retailers are always looking for some unusual things. And that's what the holiday gift guide is all about. Well, I know that for myself, I got the magazine and I already have, I, I already got some of these things. Did you really? Yes, and I'm going, <laughs> I, I'm going to get one um, probably next week for my little girlfriend here, Miss Olive. And the one from Bell Oaks, I have that. I have mm -hmm. Sophia. And the beautiful, beautiful necklaces, the rainbow bridge necklaces. It? Yes. Well, they're, it's keepsake jewelry. Yeah, it's a little urn. It's a but it's decorative. so beautiful, yes, so they're... beautiful. It's like blown glass, and mine's a red heart, and it's done. It's just done so beautifully. And you have put some of your pet's cremains once yes. you lose your pet, so they're always close to your heart. It's such a wonderful thing to have. It is, know. and it's beautifully done, and it's done by um, a local artist. Mm -hmm. And Fair. that's from Bell's Pearl Oaks Pet Crematory here in Bradenton, Sarasota. I think their address is Sarasota now. They're over on Woodfield Avenue. They've been um, tending to our pets after we lose them for 29 years now, I think. We moved here 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, and they have been, you know, uh, we, we have been with them for years, and they're extremely, and we've had a number of pets who've passed over the bridge, and they're kind, they're supportive, they take it that extra step. Mm -hmm. You know, and even when I wasn't doing the show, even before the show, I mean, I had never met them. My husband had met them because they used to take, because I used to ask for particular uh, uh, little urns for the cremains. I'd kind of make it with the, the dog statue and everything. It was before they had all these decorative urns. And Barbara, who is the wife of Ray, who they both run it, used to create these beautiful, beautiful urns for me so mm -hmm. that I still have. They're absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, so that necklace is such a, with the cremains in it is so special and so beautiful. But I have to tell you, there's something here too that I'm going to, I haven't got it yet, but I'm going to be getting it. And that's from Positively Pet, Healthy Pet Supply, which is that travel bed. I think that's such an ingenious idea that you can, and if you look at the smaller picture, how it folds up and yes. how you can just carry it. To have a bed with you wherever you go for your pets is just an incredible idea. And this one, it looks very sturdy. I saw it in person. Um, folds up small and then opens up and, and it has that nice fleece lining inside. And it looks perfect. And that's a cute little pup there, too. It is a cute little <laughs> pup. It's up for adoption. Yep. It's a very cute pup. Luna. And then we have some great treats. We have Heavenly Hounds, which is, this is interesting because I had never heard of this. I have one of them. I have yet to try them. Even when we went through Hurricane Irma, thankfully, all my dogs were okay because I was very blessed where we were living that we didn't, we had heavy winds and things, yeah. but we didn't have a lot of lightning or a lot of thunder. And, um, but I have one on hand if, if I need it. And it's just, uh, it's a little bar peanut butter flavor that has calming ingredients including passion flower and valerian root so it's like it's it probably like yummy. some of the other products yeah. but it's a treat that they can eat yeah um this is available at perks for pets in bradenton and um kathy had told me that you don't have to give them the whole bar you can just give them a little piece and i was like boy when are they gonna make these for people <laughs> <laughs> every time i read about these things i always go gosh i think that i could use one of those <laughs> And then over at Wolfgang Bakery, they have a great uh, line of um, little pet essentials there. Yes, I'm so excited about it. This is a local uh, crafter, Christy Howland, who is also the manager over at Wolfgang Bakery at Lakewood Ranch, your neighborhood pet store. Well, she's a very nice lady. Too. She is. And um, she is making these awesome, awesome uh, collars and leashes and harnesses and bandanas and little poop bags and now she's doing some tote bags mm. she's got an etsy site um etsy.com shop k as the letter k howl pet so you can find those things uh there some of these items that um that she's making but um they're also available exclusively at wolfgang bakery and grooming in lakewood ranch i'm going over there and she's oh, a very busy week next week you should see some of the holiday collars wow. that she did they're just the fabrics are beautiful and the detailing uh, you know perfect stitches and everything they're gorgeous 
Everything's gorgeous. And I know you were interested in those little... The little zip bags yeah. that she had. They could yeah. almost be used as a little, you know, makeup bag or a little treat bag or whatever you want. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful. they got little doggy designs and all kinds of designs on it. Yeah. So hopefully the people that are going to get them, um, I'm not saying their names, they're going to love them. I, I <laughs> love them. I'm buying one for me. Good. I'm a very big, I buy one for you, I buy one for me <laughs> gift giving. I can do that when I uh, can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our favorites... Uh, Einstein pets, their treats, um, which I'm also going to um, be giving out to the winners of the custom contest, which we'll be talking about in a little bit. Mm -hmm. We have some of these great treats. That we are we got. so fortunate. I mean, this uh, Einstein pets has gone international mm -hmm. with their sales because their cookies are natural. Their treats, they're they're natural. They're filled with powerhouse nutrients like uh, chia seed. Wheat free, soy free, corn free, low in calories. I mean, what more can you ask for? And with great flavors for for animals, for doggies. And the thing is, um, right now through the holidays, they have a special holiday treat called Santa's Helper with real sweet potatoes, all white turkey, and cranberries. I should have just served those for Thanksgiving. See, there you go. <laughs> they, they taste it because I have to crunch up olives, so I know how they taste. They're very good. <laughs> But I use mine too. You know what I do? I crunch them up and use them as toppers because they're so nutritious. They've mm -hmm. got so much inside of them. I use them as toppers too. So um, here's the deal, folks. If you're interested in getting these, it's only now through the holiday. So I would go to EinsteinPets.com and place your order because I was talking to Kelly and Robert the other day and they're sending pallets wow. of treats out around the country. Like I said, they're also international now. They've won all kinds of awards this year yeah. and they're based right here in Sarasota. I How know. lucky How are wonder. we? How wonderful. We're very lucky. Yes. And then we have, I bought this. <laughs> I bought one. Did of you go things. to their store? I haven't gone there yet. I have to get there because I'm going to get more. I bought one of their, uh, this is Three Dog Bakery. They have these great little, they're like signs created by Primitives by Kathy. And they're, um, they're just so, mine says, Res you can rescue a dog one day at a time or one family at a time. It's so cute and it's got a dog with a bandana, a rescue bandana around it. I really love it, but they have all kinds of things. I don't need therapy. I have a dog. I just want to drink wine and pet my dog. In dog That's for me. beers, I've only had one. <laughs> Beware of dog kisses. Uh, I just want to be a stay-at-home dog mom. I mean, these are so mm -hmm. cute and so wonderful. They're like little wooden boxes and this would be the perfect gift for a teacher, for, mm -hmm. you know, for somebody who has everything. I mean, you know, it's a nice little yes. something to sit out as long as you know that they love dogs, which most most of us do. That you know, it makes an awesome gift for anybody. So, um, yeah, Three Dog Bakery over at um, uh, the shops at University Town Center has a whole collection of them. So, yeah, very, very, very uh, unique, and it's that one size fits all type mm -hmm. gift. Now, at Holistic for Pets, which is on Fruitville Road and um, Ranch Boulevard in Sarasota and Bradenton, and you could probably go to the websites and get these, I'm, I'm sure. It's these um, little jelly bean rugs. Jelly bean rugs. Yeah, yeah. they have so many, uh, so many different designs. It was hard to pick the ones that we wanted to uh, feature in the magazine, but they have cats and dogs and horses and dogs and just beautifully made rugs that are very durable. You can use them indoor and outdoor. They can be machine washed. Um, they don't have, you don't have to worry about mold and mildew, just colorful. That's another awesome gift for somebody. You mm -hmm. know, who can't use a beautiful doormat or exactly. a little rug to put somewhere? And they are so colorful and they're comfortable. They're that jelly that you kind of mm -hmm. sink into there. That's a nice material. And then we have a DIY dog wash, the nighty leash. I think that's such an awesome yes. idea. They have, it's like a neon leash that lights up from all the way from the hook that you put on your dog all the way up to the handle in bright neon pink, green, or blue that when you go out walking at night, people will see you. I mean, I have, you know, as I've gotten older and wearing glasses, you don't see as well at night, but something like that would let you be aware that there's a person and a dog walking along. So it can, I think it's, um, it's got the technology that it can either be a constant stream of light, a constant stream of light, or you, it'll blink on and off. So kind of like that's great, and it's water resistant. So if you're taking your dog out, whether you know if it's raining down here, or if you happen to go on their website DIY, DIY dog wash, you'll 
can, if you want to order it, if you're walking in the snow, it, it uh, it's water resistant too, yes. which is great. Mm -hmm. And it just runs on three double, uh, AAA batteries. That's so cool. So, yeah. And then we have over at Wet Noses, these these collars, which I think I'm going to have to get one because <laughs> I could put everyone's name on it. You I mean, could. it has her name in, on all of her collars. But then we have, you could put your names on in these little crystal with little hearts and little paw prints and little stars. Or you could put, I love you. And this is, it's personalizing your dog collar yourself. It's a, a slider collar. They just kind of slide right on. Yeah. You can pick your, the letters that you want. And like you said, the little flowers or hearts or to put on either side of the name. You can spell out a name or I love you or I love Sarasota, anything you want to put on it. And um, it's a leather collar and it's specially made so that these um, little tiny jeweled uh, letters and um, little accessories can just slide right onto the collar. It makes a really nice gift it for is, somebody it's so, too. It's so cute. I, I'm, I'm going to have to get three of them. Okay. <laughs> and then at Marlin's Raw Superfood for Pets, that's kind of an interesting thing. This Fitbit, well, I wear a Fitbit on my yeah, own to let me do, know, yeah. but this for people who want to know how much exercise their pets are getting, there's something called the Fitbark, um, which measures so much interesting information about your dogs, the, the calories that they've burned, how far they've walked, how long they've slept, just like a Fitbit for humans. It's called the Fitbark for dogs. And I think it would be, I would love to put it on my dogs. I'm sure they're not getting nearly enough exercise, but I, and it, it can even monitor some changes in their behavior. That's great. So it syncs with your phone. So you can just look at your phone and see all the information, how far your dog, if you've gone out for a walk, how far your dog has traveled that day. So, and it fits right on their collar. It's a tiny little thing. It comes in a couple of different colors. Uh, Marlin's Raw Superfood has blue. So, um, yeah, it's an awesome and gift for somebody. And it's good for cats, too. Yep. So it's, it's, it's an equal opportunity Fitbit. <laughs> and then we have from Bon Appetit, we have uh, these cute T-shirts that say, Make a Difference, Never Walk Alone. They got you with your dog. Uh, make Time for Play, Little Dog. But this is from the Dog is Good collection. Yes. They have um, Bon have Appetit. many Dog is yeah. Good uh, T-shirts, yeah. Over at um, Bon Appetit, um, which is on University Parkway, they've got awesome collections of t-shirts that you know for dog lovers i mean who everybody wears t-shirts yes. you know you, you wear them to bed you wear them around the house you wear them out walking you wear them to the store a t-shirt's an awesome gift for anybody who loves animals and bon appetit has a nice collection of them well and then we have at cat depot for the kitty lovers in our life there's like a whole slew of stuff here yeah it's cat daddy and cat daddy headquarters over there everybody <laughs> knows cat daddy from Jackson uh, Galaxy. Yep. So, um, yeah, they've got books. They've got some of Jackson Galaxy's toys. Um, so this is for people who love their cats and want to learn uh, some behavior tips from the from the expert. <laughs> you know, I would definitely consider it. And I think he's got a brand new book that's just come out this year as well. So um, I'm sure they'll be stocking that one soon. But the toys make an awesome gift for somebody who has yes. cats. I'm I'm going to be shopping for kitty toys this year. <laughs> well, let's see. That's right, because you have a, you have to. We, yep. can't, like, we can't let them know what they're getting, but yes, you have yep. kitties in your life now. Mm -hmm. So then we have at Bark and Bath Sarasota, I love Susan Lancy Designs. Oh. And beautiful. they have Susan Lancy Designs. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. The harnesses, the detailing is just so gorgeous. Pretty colors. Um, harness is more feminine, I'd say, for, for female dogs, but um, with little Savorsky crystals mm. and bows and beautifully stitched, just and a very beautiful fabric that's washable, breathable. It's like an ultra suede. Ultra suede. And then at Nate's Honor, we have the fur dry. That's a unique concept. Yes. It's kind of like a, it's by Furminator, which they have an awesome mm -hmm. reputation for their for removing fur, um, a brush that they've done. It's a way that you can wrap up your dog and it pulls out all the water um, after they've had a bath to dry them quickly without using a hair dryer. That's like so cool. I mean, it's, it, uh, it's a very unique thing and it also makes it easy, uh, you know, because some of mine are get, get hesitant and they don't like to be dried. And, you know, I'm looking at Franny right now. She's like not a big bath person. All is very good. But that's really good for if your dog is wet. Mm -hmm. It's a very, and they come in lavender and blue. Yeah. And then we have from Posh Boutique and Spa, these no 
say no to raw hide and yes to earth animal no hide shoes mm -hmm. that's like the newest thing these no hides yeah this well like raw really hide is so yeah. bad for your dogs yeah and this is we use to be. the no hide. yeah we use them for um the girls yeah my dogs love the skinny the little ones. sticks yeah mm -hmm. yeah they've had salmon they've had chicken yeah because toby's allergic to beef so i don't give them the beef but they, it comes in beef salmon pork chicken and i think there's one other Beef, pork, no, four flavors. Yes, beef, four salmon, yep. yeah, because we always get the salmon. We've gotten the chicken on occasion, but one of mine is allergic to chicken, so then they go and steal each other's bones. <laughs> so it's easier. I'll just give everyone salmon. Yeah. But those are at Posh Boutique and Spa. And then we have one other, and it is me and my dog, USA.com. Yes. And I'm going to let you talk about this because I already have some of these items, which I love, and people always say, where did you get that? Where did you get that? And I'm going to let the creator of this uh, – uh, this was an idea that I had last year, I guess, that I wanted I wanted to find a way that uh, to earn some extra money for rescue because that's what Suncoast Pet is always about, is that we can help the rescue community. And I came up with an idea to do T-shirts, um, and now the line has expanded, that are me and my dog and me and my rescue dog loving life in the city of your choice. So I created the website, meandmydogusa.com, and designed a t-shirt and now we also have mugs there's tote bags there's 18 by 18 inch pillows which i'm getting one this week that i'm gonna have at the event next week uh tomorrow and and then i'm also um they just came out with beach towels too oh. which are you know so it's a cute little design of a, a girl sitting on the beach with her dog and it says either me and my rescue dog or me and my dog loving life in sarasota or you know, Miami or whatever city, you can go to the website, meandmydogusa.com, and you can name the city of your choice and receive a T-shirt or a mug or a beach towel or a pillow with the city of your choice. That makes an awesome gift. And this is another one of those gifts if you want it. Like, I have your tote bag. I have, I'm going to be getting your pillow. And um, I have some of your T-shirts. I have them in a few colors. And actually, I hosted some events in those t-shirts and people are always going where'd you get that where'd you get that where'd you get that I have to give you cards to hand out <laughs> yes because people are always asking me where i get my stuff and, and with the tote too this is another thing that's the perfect gift for the person you you know you want to give it to your pet sitter you want to give it to the teacher you want to give it to whomever this mm -hmm. is a perfect gift because it's with all of the accessories that you have here with the mug the tote the uh, the beach towel mm -hmm. the, and the Hello. Plus, if you want to get T-shirts, if you know their size, or if you want to get it for yourself, perfect. Everyone is going to stop you and say, where'd you get that? That's so cute. Where well, I want that. In the beginning of the year, we're going to have a kitty collection, too. So kitties exciting. are coming. Kitties are coming. So, 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 so exciting. People have asked me, you don't have anything for cats? And I said, well, I have, I have an artist working on the design for me right now. So it will be um, early next year. So check the website, meandmydogusa.com, or you can go to suncoastpet.com because there's a link to the me and my dog usa.com website from suncoast pet now for those people who want to go and look at all the stuff that we just talked about can you give them uh, where they would go to find the gift guide also the gift guide mm -hmm. if they go to suncoastpet.com and look at um, there's different tabs on the site go to suncoast pet uh, online and so it's suncoastpet.com, Suncoast Pet Online, and you'll see the issue, and you can go through the entire issue from cover to cover, and there's a lot of awesome articles in there, too, that you don't want to miss. So As always, you, you have great articles in there. But one of the things I want to talk about that's featured in here is one of the biggest um, adoption events on the Gulf Coast, and that is coming up. It's the sixth annual Jingle Paws Jubilee that's coming up uh, tomorrow on December 3rd, and it's from 12 to 5 at Philippia State Park on Tamiami Trail in Sarasota. And oh my gosh, Candace, I think that you outdid yourself on this one because this is going to be so big. Uh, people are all talking about it. People want to come to it. Of course, Miss Olive is going to be hosting the costume contest, and we already have a number of entrants. So Yes, we do. Yeah, this is very exciting. I am um, excited. We have so record let's number. Yes, let's talk about it because there's just so much going on. We have, um, for the first time this year, we have 20 different sponsors who came aboard because people love this event. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a community celebration of our love for animals, um, a way that we can all work together um, to help our animal groups. Um, and that's going to be done in several ways. The animal groups are going to be there. It's a big adoption event. There's going to be cats and dogs available for adoption. Um, we also ask, every, attendance is, uh, admission is free. 
Everybody is welcome to come. It's a fun family event, but we ask that you bring either unopened dog or cat food and cans or bags, toys or treats, because we give them, we distribute them to all the rescue groups. And I think at this point I have over 25 different rescue wow. groups that are coming. So, and they, the rescue groups sell different merchandise there. So there's going to be a ton of holiday gifts. You can come to Jingle Paws tomorrow and do all your holiday shopping for the animals in your life and for the animal lovers in your life. One stop shopping, one place, have a good time. It's going to be an awesome event. You have a ton of vendors. So anyone can go there. Like you said, bring your wallets, people, because you're going to be spending money on these animal gifts and stuff for your, the, the pet lovers in your life. If you want, just want to get a unique gift, I'm telling you, you're going to have it there. There is face painting, music. There's going to be food, refreshments yes, for we people, have, um, 50 50 drawing. Yeah, More. we have Baja Boys Grill. They're very, Love very, them. oh my mm -hmm. God, they're very popular here in Sarasota. Goodfellas Cafe and Winery. Awesome pizza. Uh, Roberta's Crazy Crepes. She's going to do some dessert and some lunch type crepes. She's down at the Sarasota's far Farmer's Market every Saturday, so you've probably seen her there. And then Bee's Cool Treats for Ice Cream is going to be there. Absolutely so. wonderful. We also have one vendor that's coming. It's called, they're coming from St. Pete. I have oh. vendors uh, coming from all different parts of the Gulf Coast, which is awesome. Um, Saint, it's called the St. Pete's Pup Cycle, and she has oh. desserts for little frozen things for doggies. Oh. Yes. Olive. You'll have a little refreshment. She's got a little, like, there. truck that's going to oh, be there. Oh, cool. So, so, yeah, we're going to have animal readings, too. We're going to do a 50-50 drawing for um, people can win. You know, if we can collect a lot of money for the 50-50, the winner gets half the pot and the rescue group split the the remainder of it. It really is a rescue group oriented event because we're doing everything possible to help the rescue groups by trying to raise money for them, by collecting food for them, by giving them a place to showcase animals that are available for adoption. So if you are looking for a new pet, this is the place to be. And I think that it's so good, too, because there's so many rescues there. So it's like I'm sure that people are looking for breed-specific rescues or just looking for that forever friend, but they're all going to be there. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're going to be able to go adopt your forever friend, and you can go pick up, you know, dog beds, dog treats, all kinds of stuff is going to be there also because mm -hmm. you're going to have so many vendors there, yeah. and the rescues themselves are probably mm -hmm. going to be um, selling some stuff. Plus, and you're going to be selling your stuff? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to be at my booth much, but it's going to be available there. We're going to have samples of some of the things, and we've got a quick turnaround on things that you can order it. Orders will be placed on Monday, and you'll have it in time for the holiday. So I'm really excited about this event because um, it is our sixth year. But we didn't even talk about, again, we've got the Doggy Diva Holiday Costume Contest. Yes, and there's trophies. We have including best in show, and it's that's that's always so much. I love doing that. It's mm -hmm. so much fun. But we have uh, a number of categories to enter under. So that starts. Um, when are we having the contest? Three p.m. Three p.m. So you could start registering in when you get there. You know, twelve noon. You can register online. Oh, yeah, that's what I was yeah. just gonna ask. Well, if you get on tonight, online, yes, we've already got a bunch. Yeah, of we do. People we've registered got people online. who are so somebody registered back in July. Wow. <laughs> She's so excited oh, about the costume just contest. Think about that. <laughs> then we, of course, are going to have Santa Claus is coming. <gasps> yes. And we're going to have pet portraits with Santa Claus. Sun Coast Pets Photography is doing pet portraits. If wow. you were at Jingle Paws last year, yes. you know, they did such an awesome job. I, we had a bunch of people, very affordable photographs. And um, Santa is, we've got, you know, he's awesome. Santa's coming to town. He's coming to town. So. For your little doggies and kitties so. or whatever. And we have a very special treat this year. I um, got a phone call this week from the Fred Astaire Dance Studio. Oh my. And they're going to be doing two performances for us during the event. Oh, I which love I'm, that. I know. I'm very excited. And it's going to be something holiday themed. That's nice. Um, they wanted to be a part. They called me. They wanted to be a part of the event. So I'm very thrilled. And they're also going to, as one of our raffle prizes, they're going to be giving us a free uh, dance lesson. Wow. So we're going to do a um, where you we're going to have different bags in front of our raffle prizes and you'll be able to put your tickets, you know, and I hope everybody's going to buy tickets because all of the proceeds, 100 percent is going to the rescue groups from our 50 50 drawing and from the raffle prizes. And, so. and, you know, there's so many communities around the country that do things for pets and this one 
we're personally involved with. We love doing it. And Candace, you put so much into this. I mean, this is, you've got a, a, the magazine is fabulous. And I have your own company that you make <laughs> <laughs> all of these great things for our, us pet lovers, but also Jingle Paws Jubilee is like the climax of the season. It's so big and, you know, everybody talks about it. If anyone wants to go and find out more about where to go, what to do, is there a website? Yes, Jingle Paws Jubilee, Sarasota.com. Yep, it's um, easy to find or you can access information too from the SuncoastPet.com website. I have it on both. All of our sponsors are listed up there. Like I said, we have 20 sponsors You've that got great sponsors. came You've on got board. A lot of them. I do. And some of them, some of them just, you know, heard about the event and they signed up online. It was awesome. That's so great. So I think as this goes on, and I'm hoping Philippi Estate Park, which is right on Tamiami Trail, it's a great location. We're right on uh, Tamiami. So people will be able to see the event from the road. A sign's going up, uh, has gone up, and um, advertising the event for a full week, which is the first time we've been able to do that right by the um, right by the park where we're going to be hosting it. So I'm hoping this is going to be our home for future Jingle Paws it's Jubilee. It's so great, so easy to access. Easy it's to big. access. It's it's very it's pet friendly. So I'm we're just excited. We'll be there tomorrow with uh, Miss Olive in her new Christmas dress to host that contest. And we do have some interesting raffle prizes Ooh, in great. addition to um, the dance lesson from Fred Astaire Studios. Uh, we're having uh, gift baskets, some gift baskets. Wet Noses is doing one. You've also donated some mm -hmm. products, including some pet-friendly candles and some cute little bone ornaments and and some books, books. that mm -hmm. you have. So we'll have some gift baskets. Uh, Studio 2201 Photography, Juliana Vasquez is donating a gift certificate. The value, I'm sure, is over a couple hundred dollars wow. to have a um, portrait. And she does beautiful, beautiful photography. So that's something. Uh, Rebecca Phillips, who is an author that was profiled earlier this year, who does children books. Mm -hmm. She's a designer and she writes these books. She's going to be a guest in a few weeks. Oh, awesome. And she's also, um, she's also uh, going to be a vendor. She'll be selling some of her books. They make such terrific gifts for oh, yeah. young children because they've got these cute little stuffed animals yep. that complement the book. She's going to be at Jingle Paws, but she's donating two of our book sets with stuffed animals. One of our vendors who has homemade soaps Ooh. and things. Oh, I can see the dollar signs Ooh. in Susan's eyes here. <laughs> She's do donating soap, uh, a soap all dish. All going in my head Yep, now. and lip balm. Um, Marlin's Raw Superfood for Pets, which I'm profiling in the January-February issue. They're doing raw food that is super nutritious for our, our, for our dogs. They're donating a $46 gift certificate. Wow. Perks for Pets up in Bradenton, they can't be with us, but they're do donating a set of doggy steps and a gift basket. Oh. I mean, this is perfect yes. for holidays because if you don't need this stuff yourself, you can buy a raffle ticket and give it as gifts. Yes. Um, Bells Pro Oaks Pet Cream Inventory is donating a $150 private cremation certificate. And then Pet Doors USA is also going to be donating a pet door or a slider your, oh. for your, it's a door that fits into your sliding glass door so doggies can we, go in and yeah, out. Yeah, we had that in one of our houses. It's so great. Yep. So yeah. they're making that, and that's that's a good donation. of That's going to be an awesome raffle prize to have, too. And then, as I mentioned, we're doing the 50-50, so you have a chance to win some money, and the rescue groups, every all of that money is going to rescue. 20% of our uh, vendor fees have gone to rescue, and... Um, I'm just hoping that it's it's supposed to be a beautiful day tomorrow and we need people to come out and support our local animal groups, have a good time, eat some great food, listen to some holiday music, participate in the costume contest. It's going to be a blast. It is Sunday, December 3rd from 12 to 5 at Philippi Estate Park. That's at 5500 South Tamiami Trail. That's in Sarasota. And Miss Olive is going to be there and Miss Olive will be hosting the costume contest. It starts at 3, but we are taking applications online so go to jingle paws jubilee sarasota.com and you can get your application and also there's trophies and some special goodies for the winners so it's gonna be such a it's fun gonna be event. fun we're all gonna hope to see you there candace thank you for all that you do for the animals and thank you for bringing us uh the sixth annual jingle paws jubilee yep thanks for being a part of it we'll be back in just a moment Molly, here's your dinner. <coughs> Zeus, that's not your food. 
Don't let that happen to your precious cat. Elevate your cat's eating experience with the Cat Tree Tray. The Cat Tree Tray keeps your cat's food off the floor and conveniently located on the cat tree. It's the perfect way to eat. It's a beautiful wrought iron tray that easily attaches to your cat tree and keeps dogs and other critters out of your cat's dish. A must for multi-pet households. There's a 6-inch tray for large bowls and a 4-inch tray for smaller bowls. Purchase your Cat Tree Tray today. Go right now to CatTreeTray.com. That's CatTreeTray.com. C-A-T-T-R-E-E-T-R-A-Y.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back, everyone. Well, it just wouldn't be the holidays without Miss Olive's very own delicious list of favorite things for our four-legged friends and animal lovers everywhere. Miss Olive has searched far and wide to discover the very best finds for the holidays gift giving. And I'm going to give you some of her top picks just for you. The book Rescued, as a rescue herself, Miss Olive knows how rescue dogs can teach us about love and life, and which is the heartwarming theme of best-selling author Peter Zutland's new book, Rescued, what second chance dogs teach us about living with purpose, loving with abandon, and finding joy in the little things. It's the follow-up of his bestseller, Rescue Road. Rescue brings uh, inspirational and humorous stories from families who have adopted second-chance dogs and have shared the transformation effect these adoptions have on their families. For more information about the author, you can visit peterzutland.com, and you can also find this book on Amazon. Now we have something very special, and our home is full of this wonderful scent. They're heavenly holiday scents from One for All Pet House Candles, and they're illuming many pet homes, including Miss Olive's, with their safe and healthy natural soy wax candles. Pet House Candles look and smell absolutely delicious in any home, which is why they are so popular as a home accessory and gift items for pet owners and non-pet owners alike. For the holidays, Miss Olive's favorite scents are Holidays for All, Candy Cane, Evergreen Forest, Gingerbread Cookies, Pumpkin Spice, and Apple Cider. Company founders David Nurworth and Robert Eicher are avid proponents of animal rescue and adoption, and they support nonprofit and no-kill rescue groups across the United States. For more information and about where you can purchase these Made in the USA candles, please visit OneFurAllPets.com. Then Miss Olive's very excited because her and her angel sister Maggie have been chosen to be part of the Tripods Inspirational Calendar. This unique and colorful calendar featuring inspirational three-legged dogs and cats, check for Miss Olive and her angel sister Maggie, is the perfect gift for pet lovers, veterinarian offices, pet rehab centers, and pet cancer clinics. Please pay it forward. All proceeds from the sale of this calendar will benefit Tripods, the largest online community for three-legged animals and their people that help pet parents by providing valuable information about amputation and bone cancer care for pets. Miss Olive and me, we're proud to be Tripod volunteers and hope that you'll visit tripods.com to learn more about the Tripods Foundation and to order this awesome calendar for your family members and friends. Then, a Hollywood classic. Noelle from the best-selling author of A Dog Named Christmas and the holiday classic that was made from that memorable book into a memorable Hallmark movie comes the fourth book of a poignant series about the McCreary family, one of my favorite families, Marianne, George, and Todd, and their beloved canines. Author Greg Kincaid's latest release, Noelle, is the heartwarming and inspiring Christmas story about the power of family and the strength and love that comes from our pets. Greg is an advocate for childhood literacy and a more humane world for our furry friends. For more information about the author, please visit gregkincaid.com, and you can find this book on Amazon or other online book retailers. And then one of Miss Olive's favorite items for all holidays 
is the Charlie and Spike Wag Swag Harness. Miss Olives loves this comfy and stylish custom harness, which she can personalize for the holidays or just for fun. You can elevate your dog's look with one Wag Swag Harness and a variety of mix and match interchangeable fashion fronts for endless style possibilities. The Charlie and Spike Company founders proudly pay it forward and are passionate about animal welfare. For more information about the harnesses and where you could buy them, please visit charlieandspike.com. Then there's a cute collar and leash that she is sporting. It's the Snowman Party Collar and Leash Set from countrybrookdesign.com. You're going to love these selections that they have there. And also, if you're in the market for some pet cakes, please go to ilovepetcakes.com and you're going to see some great Christmas, holiday, just regular pet cakes that you can make for your pets that they'll absolutely love. It's certainly what Papper pets prefer. And you can go to makingpetcakes.com. There's actually a video there. And you could go to purchase it at ilovepetcakes.com. I know that we love them. So we want to wish you all a happy holiday. We certainly hope that you enjoyed Olive's favorite things. She does. And if you want to get a better view on some of the things that she selected that we talked about today, you can go to suncoastpet.com, Suncoast Pet Online, and look for uh, Miss Olive's favorite things. Thank you, and have a great time shopping. Happy holidays. We would like to thank our guests this week. And also, as our doggy divas always say, please love your pets because they love you unconditionally. And please remember to adopt, foster, spay, neuter, and microchip. And as always, please have a great diva week, everyone. That's all for this episode of The Doggy Diva Show. To find out more, go to our website, thedoggydiva.com. Also, find us on our Facebook page, The Doggy Diva Show, and tell your fellow dog lovers about it. Don't miss Susan Marie, Miss Olive, and The Doggy Divas right here for the next episode. See you again soon. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.